things in the sky. Edson, how are you? Hi, Luna. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Can I show you something really, really, really amazing? Of course. Hmm, very interesting. Isn't it? This was my great-grandpa's book, then my grandpa's, and now it's mine. Look how pretty these drawings in the sky are. Those are constellations, and they're not just pretty, they're also really important. Important? That's right. A long, long time ago, constellations helped people identify seasons of the year and helped farmers know when to plant and when to harvest. So does that mean you can see the constellations just by looking up at the sky? Mm-hmm, but you have to know where to look. You know, Luna, the night sky changes throughout the year, and it's different in each and every place in the world. This constellation is Pegasus, the flying horse. It's a big square made of four bright stars. Hi, I'm home. <laughs> Hi, Clyde. I'm making a rocket. What are you doing? I'm going to make a constellation. So I have to cut up a whole bunch of stars. You're going to make a construction of stars? Not construction, Jupiter. Constellation. What's that? Constellations are stars that go together to make drawings in the sky. Like, connect the dots. Connect the dots? I love connect the dots. In the sky, there's a ton of constellations, and Edson said that each one has a name. A story and a picture. Here, look. This one's a scorpion. A scorpion made out of stars? That's right, Jupiter. Isn't that amazing? Neato. But where does he live? Does your book have his address? No. And I was just thinking, I wonder how we can find the constellations. I've just got to know. idea for an experiment. Let's look for some constellations in the sky. But first, we've got to set up. <laughs> the first part of our experiment today will be to look for the Scorpion constellation. Edson said it's an easy one to see. Neato! <laughs> I think the scorpion must not be home. <laughs> no, Jupiter. Constellations don't move like the clouds do. I found the bitten apple constellation. That's one, right, Luna? I don't know, but I see one too. It looks like Alice. It even has freckles. <laughs> Look there, Luna, a noodle. Or maybe it's a worm. And there's an elephant. I see a constellation that looks like a magnifying glass and another one that looks like a big tree. But where's the scorpion? Maybe it's behind the big tree. I wonder why we can't find any of the constellations from my book. I really wanted to see the scorpion. Hey! We all want to see the scorpion, right? Uh-huh. Then, let's all make believe that we're astronauts. 
astronauts and look for constellations way up there in space. Yeah! We're astronauts. Cool. I'm astronaut Jupiter. And I'm astronaut scientist Luna. I want to be an astronaut scientist too. A star. Do you think she's part of a constellation? No, Clyde. The stars in constellations have to be real close together, just like in the Connect the Dots game. Ah. Let's go talk to her. Hi, Miss Star. I'm Luna. We're looking for the Scorpion constellation. Do you know where he lives? Ooh, Scorpio. Sure. We're neighbor constellations. You're part of a constellation, too? <gasps> but where are the other stars? Well, Luna, a lot of people don't know this, but the stars that make up a constellation aren't as close as they seem back down on Earth. They're not? I've got to make a note of that. Nope. Actually, we're very far from each other. Wow! <gasps> the Great Bear! Ursa Major! It's her! It's her! Every constellation comes from times of old. Drawings in the sky with magical stories to be told. from afar <laughs> like giant maps of the sky helping you find your way among the stars <laughs> That's a lot of stars. That's it. You can't find constellations just by looking at the sky. You have to know where in the sky to look. They're so amazing. This is the best experience ever. Luna, Luna, look. It's just like connect the dots. Look, fish. I wonder if there's a ferret constellation. So pretty. I have to take some pictures. Now it's my turn to take a picture with the great bear. Take another one, Jupiter, just in case I close my eyes. We need lots of pictures. Okay. Now, I want a picture of me and Clyde with the fish constellation. I want to take a picture with the fish constellation, too. Hmm, why don't we call Mom and Dad and Igor and Alice to come see the constellation show? Hmm, what do you think? <laughs> Good evening. I'm astronaut scientist Luna. And I'm astronaut scientist Jupiter. And now for a constellation fairy, Clyde. Come on out, constellation fairy Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Clyde. You don't need all that to be the most handsome constellation fairy Clyde in the universe. <laughs> And now for our Out of This World Constellation song. Jupiter, play the song. Every constellation comes from times of old. Drawings in the sky with magical stories to be told.
Bravo, kids. Well done. I wanted to be a constellation, but it was way more fun being an astronaut. And you were a terrific astronaut. That was the best show ever. Hi, Luna. Sorry I'm late. What time is the show? The show's already over, huh, Luna? Well, if the first one is Jupiter, but we can do another one. Yeah, this time I'm gonna be a constellation. I'll go make us a little juice and popcorn for the next show. Hmm, Jupiter's toy fish never closes his eyes. I wonder if real fish ever close their eyes. At least when they sleep. So many questions. Luna, where science is happening.